Hi everybody, new video from Mutual in America, a new review. This week I'm reviewing the uh, Perfection from Samuel Gewitt. Um, this is a tobacco that I opened last week. I didn't do a video in English because, it, I mean, it's tobacco that pretty much everybody knows. I really don't have much to say. Uh, it's famous because it's a, let's say, mild e English mixture, uh, pretty like, uh, like from a book. Uh, Virginia Orientals and uh, Latakia, nothing else. Uh, it's uh, particular because it's uh, flavored with uh, vanilla topping. And this was my main concern because I'm not a huge fan of uh, flavored tobacco, of aromatics in general. Uh, I am always open to try because I think that if an aromatic tobacco is very well made, uh, the experience can be good, it, it may add something to the tobacco, but I really don't like when the topping is too strong and it, it's just going to cover the tobacco. So you can smoke any tobacco there, but you will not uh, taste it, you will only taste the flavoring. Uh, of course, this is not always the case, and this is not the case in general with uh, with tobacco. They are always very well made, very well flavored, you only have a hint of something uh, here and there, and this is also the case of this perfection. I mean, the vanilla, you cannot smell it, you, you, you can open the tin, you can uh, you can smell it, you, you will not detect it. Uh, when you smoke it, you will not notice it. You may notice that the Virginias are a nice, sweet base uh, together with the Orientals, but again, you will not taste the vanilla. You may, you may, I mean, if you know that vanilla is there, it's obvious that maybe it is rounding up all the flavors it is maybe uh, adding a little bit of sweetness or mellowness but this is pretty much it i mean you, you don't you don't feel this sweetness of other tobaccos of other vanilla flavored tobaccos so from that point of view it's very well made uh, tobacco and very good job sam would get with in in uh, thinking about adding a hint of vanilla to an english mixer uh, the latakia is pretty uh, I would not say strong because I mean it's a very uh, weak body tobacco, but it's it's a very it's very present. So uh, the, it's the, the the first thing you 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 notice when you start smoking it. The latakia is there immediately, uh, like in sense, woody, smoky. It's there. Uh, it's pretty. It's a, it's very savory. Let's say very tasty. However, um, I found it a little bit like separated from anything else so you have a beautiful base of virginian orientals they work together it's beautiful and then you have this latakia that it's like another room hitting hard it's that that was pretty confusing it is a very pleasant tobacco anyway it's uh, light it's mild and that's why you can actually smoke it all day long it's not one of those super full uh, em that you will smoke it and then you will be there like you know how they say from glps or others so it's it's good. It's very light. Uh, it's like uh, it's I, I think it's a good substitute of the early morning from from Daniel, the the good one, uh, because it's a bit more it's a bit stronger, but it's very light. Uh, nicotine hit nothing. I had like three, four, five balls in a row, literally in a row, and they didn't have any issue. I mean, I smoked this for one week, and now the tin is empty. I only have one bowl left here, so um i will just smoke it today and then it's done so it really lasted me one week this tobacco so it's pretty it's pretty okay uh, one thing that i did and probably shouldn't have <laughs> but i want to know if that's the case for you uh, yesterday since i almost finished the tin i had the one uh bowl of esoterica margate which as you may know it's a full english mixer it's an amazing tobacco it's very you know it's strong but it's mellow the latakia it's always there mellow tasty uh, it's beautiful i mean i love that english mixer it's not like this in which latake is stronger it's almost hitting on your tongue i don't know why and then i smoked again the perfection and that was um, unbelievable i could only taste the vanilla so i've been smoking this for a whole week the almost all the tin and i couldn't detect a single hint of vanilla then i smoked the market i smoked this again and i could only taste vanilla so that's pretty weird but again uh, i mean the, the, the topping is there so it's something that uh, eventually, uh, now we really re reveal it is really there. Now that's it. So I like it. I, I'm not sure I will buy it again. I will give it a solid seven out, seven out of ten because it's a good EM. You can smoke it all day long. It keeps you happy. Uh, it's tasty. It's good quality, but it lacks the structure 
the, the depth, uh, the layers of flavors that you have with others English mixtures. So also from Samuel Gavis. So good job, light, nice. It's well, it's good to start if you never tried the, uh, an English mixture. It's a good way to start, but for me, it's just uh, too light and uh, lacks some structure that I like to have in a, especially in an English mixture that it's so rich of flavors and, uh, and in scent and smokiness and different tobaccos that should work together. So that's why, I mean, that's it. So that's my idea. Uh, it's a good tobacco, but uh, probably not the best for my own taste and smoking, and smoking habits. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, if you like this tobacco, please subscribe because I mean, uh, I am uh, I'm always happy to see people that follow me. Thank you very much. I really hope you like this uh, this video. I'm really looking forward to uh, really looking. For, I am really looking forward to reading your comments and hearing your about your experience and uh, tell me what you think about the perfection of Sarah Garrett and if you have any other suggestion of tobacco. Thank you very much.